Fine. Leave it to me. Son, it's Son He. Sorry to bring bad news, but it looks like the Seiryu clan set us up. What do you mean? Here, check the video I sent you. It was posted just now by Tatara, one of the more popular VTubers. VTuber? People, Tatara Channel coming at ya! As always, we're out to boldly reveal the evils this media's just too scared to touch. The title for today's episode is... A Super Big Shot Yakuza Long Thought Dead Suddenly Returns from the Grave? First off, let's take a good look at this photo. In it is Kazuma Kiryu, legendary Yakuza to some, hardened criminal to others. Known as the Dragon of Dojima and Kamurocho, he was also the chairman of the Tojo clan, the largest Yakuza group in the Kanto area. Seven years ago, in Hiroshima, Kiryu-san was shot to death as a result of gang-related activities. Or so we were led to believe. This video here recorded in Hawaii is no more than a few days old. And if we zoom in to get a closer look... My, my! He looks a lot like Kazuma Kiryu, doesn't he? I mean, they're practically twins! Now, let's continue the footage, shall we? Long time no see, Kasuga. Whoa. Kiryu son? Is that you? <laughs> Who else would it be? You hear that? The other guy just called him Kiryu son, didn't he? Does that not blow your mind, people? The dragon is back from the dead! Oh, and we're not done just yet. This footage hides yet another juicy surprise. Did you happen to catch it? Right here! Do you all remember him? Long time no see, Kasuga. It's Ichiban Kasuga, whose cover we blew on this channel before! Yokohama's so-called hero! So a long-lost legend is really alive and kicking. Plus he's pals with Ichiban Kasuga? Okay, what is really going on here? To help shed light on that, I've invited some very special guests for this occasion. You'll be meeting the Underworld's top dogs, currently leading the most powerful Yakuza organization in Japan. Here we go! These gentlemen are in charge of a group called the Seiryu Clan. Thank you both for joining us today. Let's get right to it. You've seen the footage of Kazuma Kiryu yourselves. What do you think? That's him, without a shadow of a doubt. As a matter of fact, he paid a little visit to our office here only yesterday, which goes to show the man never died. It was an act. That, in turn, leads me to believe law enforcement might have had a hand in this charade. <gasps> You're saying the police helped Kiryu fake his death? How is that even possible? Kazuma Kiryu was the fourth chairman of the Tojo clan, and despite their rivalry, he was also quite close with Chairman Watase of the Omi Alliance. Naturally, he would have had a wide range of support from Japan's underground, being in it all those years. And that's to say nothing of the late Minoru Daidoji, whose cabal still straddles the political and finance sectors. If even one of those groups were to put pressure on the police, well, I'm sure you can imagine they'd comply. But let's move on. Take a look at this footage from yesterday. Kazuma Kiryu again! And sitting across from him, 
Is that...? Yes, that would be the two of us. Can you elaborate on what's going on here? Kazuma Kiryu, as you clearly saw in the Hawaii footage, is likely the one pulling Ichiban Kasuga's strings. Now why, after spending so long in hiding, would he suddenly emerge like this? I can only think of one plausible reason. The resurrection of the Tojo clan. He came here just as we'd finished refurbishing the old Tojo clan headquarters, stating he'll use any means to reclaim it. Need proof? The video here should be more than enough to convince you. Wow, I'm glad you're both safe. What a menace Kiryu is! How can he just be allowed to walk free? Well, he's been officially pronounced dead. It's why the police can't touch him. Still, in an effort to make a difference, we brought this to your attention in hopes that it would help. Oh, now it's all starting to come together. Thank you so much for this information. Well, everyone, Tatara Channel's on it. And we'll chase Kazuma Kiryu to the ends of the earth. Fear not. This state-protected, privileged class of Yakuza can't run forever. The truth will always win out. Above all, the Tojo clan must not be resurrected. Let's make sure to put a stop to it. That's all for today. And if you spot Kazuma Kiryu, drop me a line. Kiryu-san, we got trouble on the internet. It's that damn Tatara again. I guess you already know. Son, he just finished telling me. You gonna be all right? Now that your name and face are broadcast out in the open? Hmm. I'm not sure. We'll see how Hanawa responds. But either way, I don't have long to live. In that sense, it's not a big deal. Don't say that, Kiryu-san. You know... Maybe I ought to give Ebina and Sawashiro a word of thanks. And then some. Seriously? I for one want to know what the hell they were thinking. And what was their goal in all this? Could be we got under their skin yesterday. And this was how they retaliated. Hey, didn't Tatara spread rumors about Ichiban too? Something like, former Yakuza makes a killing by forcing other ex-criminals to steal? He was only doing his job, but the video spun it completely out of context. Right. That channel's known for trying to expose the evil the media's too afraid to touch. And actually, their scoops are mostly legitimate. But why does their information get twisted when the spotlight's on Ichiban and Kiryu-san? Hey, if I knew, I'd tell you. Not only that, why is Ebina bothering to lend Tatara a hand? Seems pretty out of place for a Yakuza to go on camera like that. Plus, that footage with Kiryu-san was taken just yesterday. Yet they already had a smear campaign prepped and ready? <sighs> nice catch. You got a good eye, Psycho. Sunhee, did you come running all this way? <sighs> the situation called for it. But this isn't about me. I don't have positive proof yet but there's a good chance Ebina and Tatara were partners for a long time. Is that right? How long are we talking? At least before any of you even knew their names. How can you be so sure? Why else would Ebina and his lackey go on stream with some VTuber who has nothing to do with the Yakuza? Hmm. Anyone in the position to lead the Seiryu clan would never pull a stunt like that. It's too big a risk for one, but as you saw, they did it anyway. So, here's what I think could happen. Ebina might start using Tatara to broadcast any propaganda that suits his needs. And that's to five million subscribers, by the way. And I'll even take it a step further and say this. I think Ebina's been Tatara's major source of intel for everything that's happened so far. Wait a minute. So, Ebina, a leader in the Yakuza world, is behind the Tatara channel of all things? What makes you think that, Sunny? Ebina's background tells it all. He used to be one of Tokyo PD's top elites. Was he really? And now he's a Yakuza captain. Talk about turning the wrong leaf. What would make him do that? I don't know the particulars. There wasn't any scandal I could trace it to. But with history like that, 
I'm sure he's got a wealth of stories the media's never seen or heard. Isn't that a fair bit of assumption, though? Sure, but it's not like it's unfounded. <sighs> oh, you know what? This involves Ichiban directly. Right after Tatara effectively canceled him, Sawashiro goes and sends him to Hawaii. Meaning... Well, I just wonder, had Ichiban been able to keep giving work to ex-Yakuza, would he still have said yes to go in there? So then, Sawashiro wanted Kasuga in Hawaii for his own ends. And for that to happen, Tatara made it so he had to leave his job. The timing was too convenient. Exactly. So what I'm saying is, it's possible Sawashiro's been stringing Ichiban along. And if that's true, it's not a stretch to say they know more than they let on about Polykana. So, if everything was orchestrated by Ebina and Sawashiro, what would be their next move? Good question. I guess that's the part we're all stumped on. Should we go have another chat? I would love to, but the situation's changed. One false step, and we'll be staring down every last member of the Seiryu clan. After putting footage like that out there, they're obviously ready for a fight. And if Kiryu-san isn't his usual self, we shouldn't pick a fight we can't win. As much as I hate to admit it, I think you might be right. Okay, then why don't we do this? What? Now that the Seiryu clan opened a branch office, there shouldn't be as many of them back at Ijincho. So, we should hit their HQ first. Figure we might be able to get who's in charge to talk. Nanba, that's actually not such a bad idea. Yeah, let's give it a shot. Son, Seryu Clan Headquarters. <laughs> there he is! Been waiting for you, tough guy. I'm here with Men's Vice Journal. Great. What now? Feast your eyes, bros and bastards. You're taking an exclusive look at the most legendary Yakuza to ever walk the streets. Thanks to the Tatara channel, he's the talk of the town once more. Introducing... Kazuma Kiryu! Ah, uh, I see what's going on here. They're hyenas, lapping up a bigger man's fame. How about you give us an interview, Kiryu-san? Your story's, like, <laughs> incredible. A top dog faking his own death all so he could live in secrecy. How do you feel now that that's out in the open? Any comments? Concerns? Give me something. Out of the way. <laughs> oh! Ow! I think I broke a bone. <laughs> no way he got hurt just from that. Talk about bad acting. Yo! Did you guys see that? You freaking wrecked me! That right there's the real, uninhibited Kazuma Kiryu! <laughs> I'm not in the mood for child's play, so get the hell out of my sight. This is the same Kiryu who's sick, right? Ugh. What the fuck, man? That shit really did break a bone! Well, guess what? It's all on camera. Huh. I'm surprised you didn't die on impact. Hurry up and get him, guys! I'll be right here recording. I even got a killer title. Legendary Yakuza Kazuma Kiryu gets straight up owned on camera! You really want another reality check, huh? Looks like your boys are too scared to move a muscle. That's alright. We got ourselves an arrangement.
Looks like Ebina knew we were coming. First he spreads lies, then he lays a trap. I'd say his true colors are starting to show. Right. This pretty much amounts to a declaration of war. Then how should we handle this, Kiryu-san? No question. If they want to fight, they've got one. Let's go! Bring it on! Let's do it! I got this! What's the hold up? <laughs> <laughs> Now we're talking. You're gonna get hmm. the dog. What? Aye, aye. You're gonna be in a world of uh. hurt. Go, go, go. Ah. Here we go. Time to take out the trash. <laughs> <laughs> For mercy now. I'm not backing down. You want some? I better start hmm? begging for mercy. It's my turn. Let's do it. In for the kill. Stay down. Allow me. This My heart is Moving up there, we're right. <clears throat> right before, you said you had an arrangement with the Seiryu clan. What did you mean by that? <sighs> hard to say. Answer me now, or that bone's going back in its socket. And I can't guarantee you'll like it. <sighs> okay! Uh, uh, I got a message from the Tatara channel. They knew about you, and said you'd be coming to Seiryu HQ. They also said to taunt you and get footage that the clan would protect us if we did. So Sun He's guess was right. Ebina really has been pulling Tatara's strings. Yeah. And so is Shira's his accomplice. They also made Kasuga go to Hawaii. There had to be a reason for that, too. What kind of reason, though? Let me ask what's happening in Hawaii. I've got a contact over there. Who would that be? He probably means Hanawa-san, the guy from the Daidoji faction. He's not picking up? Isn't it late at night over there? It could be they're all snoring by now. 